This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Vanguard Bandits. In the last episode, we traveled back in time to an alternate reality where, unlike previously, where Bastion just went in over his head, he was actually prepared for Radcott's trap despite him not actually knowing it. We were able to get out alive. And then this version, instead of getting captured and getting saved by Nana and Andrew, he now finds himself in the the a land of mercenaries in Dion Levon, or somewhere pronounced somewhere in that. And now we must fight him and his uh, commanders to uh, get Gracia so we can unlock Ultra Gunner. I wonder how this battle will turn out for Bastion and the group. Let's find out. We've already done the briefing interview. There's really not much on equipment. I mean, otherwise I probably would have liked like Devlin or Barlow to be higher level, but I mean, not much I can really do about that, so. Oh, by the way, weirdly enough, off-screen, uh, Zera levels up. Because uh, in the last fight, he's 9, but now he's 11. But I think soon we're going to be able to control him. I just don't know when the game actually lets us do it. But I guess he levels up to kind of keep up to pace with us. But anyway, let's uh, let's fight Dion Leve or Levi or whatever the thing is. And let's see if we can get Gracia from this time. Because before we beat, when we lost to Radcot and then gave by Saved by Nana... He just gives it to us, almost like a pity. It's just like, ah, oh, here you go. Here's Gracie. You don't have to fight me. I know all the crap you went through. Oh, by the way, we can only do this by ourselves. No one can help us, so hopefully you Bastion is at a decent level. Probably level 10 or 11 would be preferred for this fight. That's why this kind of round of is a bit, a bit uh, more difficult, because uh, you have to fight Radcott, and then you fight uh, this guy's commander. So anyway... Boots Bastion, you will fight each of my soldiers in turn. When your attack is disabled, the test is over. Attacks that could injure or kill either yourselves or my soldiers are, of course, strictly prohibited. Are you ready? Whatever you are, Car Marquis Dion. First soldier, enter the arena. Alright, we got a generic, uh, fight! Alright, we got a generic mercenary who's, uh, in a bear, bear Level 6, so overall should be pretty solid. It's got Turn Quake. Uh, that, uh, I'm trying to remember what that ability does. I think that, move, I think that moves you, uh, adjust your directional on a character. But anyway, um, I could hit him on the side. Let's do that. Oh, I guess I, well, nah, he's just a generic soldier. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to gain much experience for this dude, so... Alright. Oh, my... I'm so high to agility, I get to go again. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Alright, let's move back one so we can uh, have some room. Oh. Okay, then. Well, let's go ahead and finish him off, then. That was easy. Yeah, one of the be benefits of having high agility is you might go multiple times before anyone else, depending on how high it is. Great work, Bastion. One down. Who knows how many to go? What a hunk of muscle. And rain a lean on thick. Just make out already with me. That was wonderful, Bastion. Keep fighting hard. Good kill, Bastion. That was cool. Bastion, once you're done beating all these soldiers, let's go eat something really creamy. Cause I'm fat. <laughs> that was textbook victory, your highness. I can see you are very well trained. Do not lose concentration, Bastion. One of my soldiers was defeated. I am already impressed, but the test must continue. Second soldier, enter the arena. Fight! Alright, this time we've got another mercenary in a Dentarius. Uh, have we seen those before? I think so. I tried to run. I think one of the Empire units uses it or something. Okay, anyway, let's, let's, uh, alright, anyway, it's our turn. Wait, it won't let me do- Are you kidding me? It won't let me attack him? Okay, what, oh, right, okay, it was the end of that uh, fight, gotcha, okay. We, it, it, because I beat him, it's still, we still haven't finished out my turn. Oh yeah, I didn't uh, do my tactics. Win in advance, and let's see. I also like my agility doesn't really help me until turn 9, so. And anyway, we want to move back so he doesn't get go completely around us. Oh, I thought... No. Wait, shouldn't it be my turn? Oh, no. Okay, never mind. It'll be the mercenary then me. Okay. Actually, I don't think I've shown this, uh, Max. So, uh, um, I don't know why. It doesn't... It looks a bit off to me, like... 
I think we've seen it already, but anyway. Alright, I wanna make sure he he probably can still go around me, but yeah, well. I wasn't sure if I could Eh, we should be able to find. Yeah. High agility for the win. Alright. I have to be careful. I'm I'm getting too close to like raising my FP up, so. Should give me another love. <laughs> We're just trying to be back attack each other. Nice. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna try hitting him from front, that way I have enough uh I might have to take a turn to just, uh... No, no, no I don't think we need strength, do we? Ah, oh, probably need thrust. Nuts. Okay. Oh, he didn't hit me this time. Okay, good. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna start needing to raise uh, Bastion's uh, deck so he can start hitting. Now that we've had enough agility, I think we can hold off on putting uh, more points of agility because really, all, at least in this this play, this variation of the playthrough, I only need high agility to survive Radcon. After that, I can start going back to a basic uh, uh, leveling up. So I think we'll go with uh, 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 making uh, um, him uh, balanced again, at least in this variation run. Because really, after a point, agility, you don't need that much agility. Like, maybe maybe get into 20 if you really want to. But anyway, two down to go, Bastion. Keep this up, and I'll take back all those nasty things you said about you. Wait, you said nasty things about me? You go, Bastion. Bastion, that was fantastic. I never realized you were this strong. Bastion, you're my hero. Man, all this spectating makes me really hungry because of that. His Highness is demonstrating the incredible strength of his heart. Perhaps Dion will surrender. Beautiful efforts. Keep it up. Two soldiers. I wonder if my men have been delinquent in maintaining their training regiments. Third soldier, enter the arena. Fight! Alright. I may... What's my... What's my turn? Uh, do I get to go again afterwards? Okay. I want to... I think I'll give myself room to lower my FP. And then... I have him just come to me so I can have my all. See, he'll just face me. All right. Oh, by the way, we're in the numerous area. I don't think we've seen this mech. The Flaros. Or at least we haven't yet, anyway. He's got a Shimmer Sword and Aquamarine. This is basically Andrew. It's similar to Andrew's mech. Not quite, obviously, because it's a different type of sword. But yeah, I think I'll let him come to me. That way my FP will be. Uh, let me move back one. Okay. That way my FP will be low, so. That way I don't have a chance of becoming a. Um, uh, what's the word? Um, actually, what's my turn after that? Do I want to maybe not hit him from behind? Uh, oh wait, wait, did it say something about the mech going twice? Oh no, that's me. I was about to say my agility's way too high to be like uh, be attack, be uh, double double hit. Oh, we probably get tornado now. Oh, and it raises it. Uh, I think you get that from. I think. That base and power has to equal uh, 10, I believe, to get that. Or no, or is that a dex? No, that's a dex one, sorry. Uh, dex, I think dex and agility have to be 10 for that one. Yeah, okay. Anyway, yeah, this one's good because it uh, uh, lowers your attack rating on your on your enemies. So if you're worried about getting hit and taking damage, this is a decent um, status effect. Not perfect, mind you, but... Uh, so I could move there and then use it. Yeah, we're fine here. Let's just... I'll show you how, what the attack looks like. Zara has this now, by the way. Haha! -ha. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but that's not the point. The point is to uh, lower his attack, so if he does hit me, uh, it won't do as much damage. So, anyway. Alright. Let's get behind him for another attack. Could try to... Is my... To hit high enough? I haven't raised my decks enough to be comfortable with that. I'd rather have a 99. Although I've still missed on a 99, but you know what I mean. Yeah, this will be way he'll hit me in the side instead of the back. Um, yeah, we'll go avoid. Yeah, whew. All right, look at me. Uh, do I want to keep hitting in the back? 
Yeah, we'll just keep doing that. Luckily, my agility, like I said, my agility is pretty high. All right. That's why I might get another level by the end of this. Oh, do we need to do a tornado again? Just in case, you know what I mean? Alright, let's keep ourselves low FP wise. Yeah, it should be good. Ah, oh, come on, man, 24%. Oh ah, well. I wanna go ahead and get behind him. That's probably the best choice. Well, at least the damage he did do wasn't as much he would have done if I if I had uh, um, hadn't uh, tornadoed him. So there you go. All right, nice. Not another level, but that works. Three down, Bastion. I'm giving you a kiss after this battle is over, and I don't even find you attractive. No, apparently you're into BBMs. Let me let me kiss him. Let give him the kiss because I think he's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, Raida. I don't. Is your personality just gone from like? You know, like, uh, kind of like sassy girl to, like, just falling for the main character type of character. That happens a lot in JRPGs where they always have that one female character that just falls for the hero for some reason. And yet they still don't get him. That type of thing. Bastion, I'm so proud of you. Bastion, you're kicking butt and taking names. For every soldier Bastion defeats, I'm going to eat a pound of chocolate and deliver tribute to a skill. Because I'm fat. Your Highness, show the Marquis and his men your true strength. Impressive to say the least. Keep it up, Bastion. I think you can lose to one of these guys and still be fine. I think it has to be this final one, though. But I'm trying to remember. I, if, when I usually do this fight, I'm so well. I still have so high agility that I usually don't straight out lose to the final uh, opponent. This, but anyway, three victories. No one has managed such a feat until this day. The prince has uncanny strength, so his skills must be now be tested by someone equally strong. Fourth soldier, enter the arena. What the? Andrew? What are you doing here? By the way, in this timeline, we don't know Andrew was actually a mercenary, so pretend. Hello, ladies and uh, Bastion, and hello, ladies. You all must remember me, of course. Uh. Oh, the humanity. I know you're just messing with me, Bastion, or I'd be really hurt. Wait, that voice! That horrible voice! <laughs> There's not a woman on the continent who can forget my dulcet speech. It's that dirty old man. Andrew, the alcoholic womanizer, what's he doing here? That's, what, that's that weirdo who keeps sneaking peeks at Millie's butt! Very funny, Puck. Uh, you are just kidding, aren't you? <laughs> I like that her tongue sticking out like a portrait. Unbelievable! Simply unbelievable! I try to act be friendly, and what do I get? An endless stream of verbal abuse. I have half a mind to get out of this attack and give you all beating. Andrew, cease your chatter and proceed with the test. Oh, uh, of course, Marquis Dion. So, you know, Bastion, there's nothing personal about the beating I'm gonna give you. It's strictly business. That's interesting, Andrew. I was about to say the same to you. Fight! All right, we're gonna, now we're fighting Andrew in the, and obviously this is the first time we've seen this mech in this run of the game. So yeah, Andrew is level 12, but he's got more agility than us. Luckily, our agility's just high enough. I think he doesn't overtake us in turns, I think, for the most part. No, he does at one point. Oh well. Yeah, this is why you want to have high agility, because, uh, yeah, Andrew's, uh, because of his speed, is uh, a bit tougher. Though he has very little HP, so he can't take as many hits. That's the difference between his mech. Anyway, he's in the Veto Corban, the basically ninja mech, so. Alright. Can thrust, strength thrust, slash, he also can strength thrust, too. That is gotten from, I think, high weapon use and agility, I think. Anyway. Uh, and he's got Dormant Assassinate, which basically means if you attack him from behind, he does more damage. Yeah, we don't want we don't want Andrew to hit from behind. Uh, okay. So Andrew goes after this. What's his move rate? Yeah, he's got pretty high move. Okay. So I want to try to move just far away enough to... Uh, see, his straight range is... Alright, 
I just want to have enough FP to like, or left, uh, move AP so I don't have to, uh... Oh boy. Oh, he's using Tornado on me. Good. Nuts. Alright, well, he kind of, Andrew kind of needs to do that to us because we're a lot stronger than he is. Alright, do we want to go ahead and try to uh, Tornado him too? Nah, his avoid's really high. That's the problem. Because of his agility. If I get him from behind, would that work? I might just have to risk getting the attack on him. Ugh, this is, this, like, this is, like, kind of those really close type of fights because Andrew has decent dex, too, which means he can hit through my agility. Uh, well, his is 10, but still, you know what I mean. And the fact he's two levels higher than me. Nuts, this is... I have to try to hit him from behind. I can't really... If, if, well... But the thing is, he... Uh... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit from the side and try Tornado. Okay, well, at least he won't hit me from the back. That's what I'm worried about. Getting hit in the back. I might have to start defending. Yeah. That's... Yeah, he could avoid, but I'm really not okay with 40% as being my... Yeah, I may lose to Andrew. I'm, uh, I have, there's a really high chance I might lose to him. Nuts! Yeah, oh well. I've beaten Andrew before, but he is kind of tough. Nuts, this sucks. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, guys. sorry, folks. I tried to beat Andrew. I didn't know if I was going to be able to or not. I guess if I, if I, I guess if I had upgraded my uh, uh, my agility more, I probably would have uh, beaten Andrew. Oh, that's not too bad. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to give myself enough agility to uh, survive that. But... Maybe I should have, when I leveled up previously, I should have put it all into agility so I would have been able to survive Andrew. Oh well. Uh... I, mean, I need to raise my defense a bit. Because if he'd hit me from behind, he would have easily done more damage. Uh... Oh, and he. Oh, nuts. Come on, avoid. I'm almost at a... What's my, uh... Turns up. And then Andrew will go, like, right after me. So I have to finish fine. So I have to end so I don't go over 100. Nice. He's just gonna, uh... Combo attack me. Actually, really doing Tornado at this point is kind of pointless. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's gonna hit me from behind and finish me off. Oh well. Come on, agility. That's... Oh well, I lost. Bastion, buddy, you did a fine job. I was almost nervous once or twice during the fight. Almost. It was an excellent duel. As soon as we get out of these ATACs, I'm gonna shake your hand. Uh, by the way, I think after you beat Andrew, I think you fight the Marquis himself, actually. And there's a reward you get if you survive the Marquis. Um, I'm trying to remember what it is. I'll have to look it up. I never thought the strange man would be so strong. Maybe you should have stood up and tried to distract him with your butt mail, yeah? We should have expected him to be a great fighter. He wouldn't have been Dion's fourth man otherwise. Bastion fought really hard, Reyna. I think you should bake him a cake as a reward. No! No! Your Highness, you are certain to have passed the Marquis' test with that excellent performance. Hey, Andrew, why didn't you ever tell me and Barla that you're a soldier from Dion Leve? Leve? Don't ask, don't tell, Devlin. That's my motto. Wow, I guess you got me there. That was an impressive fight, Bastion. Bastion surely impressed the Marquis with his strength and speed. I know they'll truly impress me. 
But yeah, you can beat Andrew, and I think yeah, I think the marquee fight. Oh no, I think it's a optional fight to fight the marquee afterwards. But you can beat him or fight him, and you could possibly beat him. It really depends on your levels. I kind of wish I'd probably adjusted uh, Bastion's agility higher. I might have been able to survive Andrew's attacks. But either way, uh, as long as you get to Andrew and you lose, you're fine. So, but I don't know. Maybe maybe one day I'll do a bonus episode on like what happens when you beat. Andrew and get to fight uh, Dion himself uh, without without like really, but I'm not that good at this game, so I, I, I it's hard for me to beat the the marquee. So you know, anyway, this is Gracia, the stone which has used to seal Ultra Gunner's power. You have passed the test, Prince Bastion, and I therefore give Gracia to you. Yay! I feel strange. I hear a faint voice deep inside my head calling out to me. Now I'm starting to see something in my mind's eye. It's a glistening white attack. It's Ultra Gunner. Your Highness, are you alright? Marquis Dion, what is going on? What is happening to His Highness? Prince Bastion has passed the second test, Commander Galvis. You never mentioned a second test, Marquis Dion. Explain yourself at once. Gracia is a magic stone, Commander Galvis. It can detect when someone worthy or unworthy possesses it. If someone unworthy were to take Gracia, it would be a lot not allow him or her to use the Ultra Gunner. Because Bastion is worthy, Gracia is receiving a location of Ultra Gunner tool. Thank you for clarifying, Marquis Dion. Although I still wish you'd have harmed us beforehand. Hey, G Gamlin, what the heck are you doing here? Your Highness, I have come with extremely important news. I don't know what voice to give Gamlin. <laughs> Candlet, why are you following us here and ignored your sworn duty to defend Arba Castle? Bastion, watch out, Gandolin is a traitor. Or sorry. Bastion, watch out, Gandolin is a traitor. What? Got it! Yoink! Did he, did he just yoink the Gracia? Gandolin stole Gracia away from me! What's going on? Let's move, Bastion. We must catch Gandolin before he delivers Gracia to the Empire. Oh, there goes Andrew. Ah! It's no use, Zara. I can barely keep pace with Gandolin, let alone try to catch up with him. Your observation is correct, Bastion. There's no way to catch Gandolin while he moves. Why? We have, like, Andrew and people like that. Shouldn't they be able to catch up with him? Our only course of action is to track him and hope he stops. Why? Why is, it, why is his mech so fast? I mean, it has the wings on the side, but... Marquis Dion! There's a formation of Atax from the Muspel Nation dead ahead. Duke Radcott is very hungry indeed for the power of the Ultra Gunner. That bastard will feed upon the fist of my attack this day. Yeah, basically, um, basically the com, um, basically this is where the stories for the, this path diverge back into the main storyline. We just have different, um, so in the, uh, 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 in the storyline I'm playing as where Bastion lost and all that. We run and just we just run into Radcliffe because he's attacking us from escaping. Uh, so we don't know that Ganlin is a traitor in the main storyline. But now that we know he's a traitor in the alternate storyline where we win, and we're just being attacked by Rad Radcliffe because he's trying to get us again after we made a retreat the first time. So, but after that, the battles this battle uh, chapter eight's battle will be the exact same on either path. So, um, let me see. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, so that's it with that. So, all right. Well, actually, let's let's show you the briefing. This version of the briefing, because well, maybe not next time we play, but close, we'll go back to the original storyline. But let's show the briefing version and the interviews for this variation on the uh, on it. So, oh, Reina. Okay, it's Pink Stars. Anyway, Reina is at max morale with me. Uh, I think depending on how how, how far you get in uh, Marquis. Uh, thing, your morale goes higher or lower, but okay, Deflin's went back up because uh, he didn't die in the last episode, so good. Alright, uh, yeah, let's do Devlin. It burns, Bastion! Oh, it burns! Reindus Meatloaf is eating a... Oh, right. It burns, Bastion! It burns! Reindus Meatloaf is eating a hole through my stomach! <laughs> Alright, I gotta, I gotta talk to Rain about that. I'm not surprised that Duke Rackhawd is so evil. Living in a desert like Moosebowl will surely make me crazy. Alright. 
Uh, let's do Marlo again, why not? Because he's fat. Bastion, I accidentally dropped my chocolate and Raiders peanut butter and it tasted delicious! Oh, Reese's Pieces. <laughs> my name is... <laughs> My name is Officer Reese's. What's going on here? He spilled chocolate in my peanut butter. He got peanut butter in my chocolate. Bang, bang. <laughs> anyway. Alright. And let's do the inner. Uh, let's do the briefing. Echiel Field. Ratzkot has decided to attack us for a second time. How many lessons must we teach him before he gives up? Or will I simply have to destroy the entirety of his army? This is wretched timing. We'll never be able to catch Ganlin now. We can if we finish these troops quickly. All right. So, looks like we'll end it there, folks, because I don't want to start a whole new battle without... And we'll we'll, do it, we'll go with my official run of the game battle on that. So, uh, but before we do that, in the next episode of uh, Vanguard Bandits, there's one more battle we have yet encountered an option way back when we decided to meet the Moose Bowl Nation itself. But what happened if we didn't meet with the Moose Bowl Nation to begin with and decided to just go beat the Marquis on his own? In the next episode of Vanguard Bandits, we'll find out what happened if Bastion actually listened to his advisors for once. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.